Stephanie Wardle loves being a nurse and wants to be helping on the front line against coronavirus. But like thousands of casual and agency nurses, she hasn't worked a shift in weeks. I like helping others, so I want to stay in this industry, I want to grow in this industry. I'm also studying at uni to go further in this industry, so I think, you know, I want to be able to help where I can. Miss Wardle's shift stopped when elective surgery was cancelled. With bills to pay, she's now looking for another job, including stacking shelves. And she's not sold on spending the $175 it will cost to renew her nursing registration next month. If you're not getting work, why pay the registration in the first place? The Nurses' Union wants federal registration fees waived for nurses in hardship, warning the health sector may lose those workers just as they're needed. In the event that uh, the COVID crisis uh, increases in Australia, we are going to need to call on their resources and expertise in a very rapid way, uh, and so we need to look after them now. That's especially the case with dozens of healthcare workers now in coronavirus isolation, including 22 here at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The union says casual nurses should be used to help relieve those staff and also to help permanent staff learn new skills. There are a large number of nurses um, within um, the Australian workforce that don't actually practice frontline clinical nurses, nursing, and a lot of those have put up their hand to be able to come back and be part of the COVID-19 response. The federal regulator APRA says it's working on a payment plan for nurses, midwives and other health professionals. Claire Campbell, ABC News, Adelaide.